Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a really fun video to sh talk to you guys about. A really fun thing to go over and I think it will really help you guys out a lot and I'm planning on making a lot of future content of this to help you guys on your mission to make your Steam Deck a lot better. Now, I have recently downloaded Windows 11 uh, Home on my Steam Deck because I thought it'd be fun to give uh, Windows a try in the Steam Deck uh, because the other Steam Deck it has the regular OS and Linux so I thought it'd be fun to try the Steam Deck with Windows 11 so yes there is a risk definitely downloading this on your when on your Steam Deck because you can actually destroy your Steam Deck by doing it if you do something wrong you can lose all your data which really can um, screw you over in the long run but luckily I didn't do any of that, and I followed a really good YouTuber's advice. Um, if I think of the, if I, if I, I'll probably post it down below to his channel. But I'll show you guys. I didn't get, I don't do a dual boot, so I don't have Steam Deck OS and Linux. But I do have two Steam Decks, so I do have one with Linux on it, and I do have one with um, uh, Windows on it. And I tell you, I don't really like Linux compared to Windows. Now, everyone's going to say, well, yeah, naturally, because Windows is just so much straightforward and easier to use. And not to mention, everyone's comfortable with Windows. They have everything you needed. They don't have to deal with anti-cheats like you have to do with Linux. So there's a lot more uh, loops with Linux versus, you know, even getting Windows. Like, face it, we can't play Diablo 4. We can't even play, um, can't even play Minecraft because... Anti cheats will just ruin you, and do you even have any launchers? You have to go literally have to go down and install Prism Launcher. I can show you guys today because I actually have the Linux plugged into the the screen today. But you literally have to go and download a uh, Prism Prism Launcher. I know that's pretty normal for that, but it, for me personally, and if you guys are feeling the same way, it's just too much work. Now I'm not showing you guys how to install Windows on your Steam Deck. Unfortunately, I can't do that. Nor do I want to take the risk of deleting everything off of my Steam Deck and reinstalling it because I'm not doing all that. But I can I can direct you to a video where you guys can learn how to do it that I got exactly where I got my information from and did it to my own Steam Deck. But anyways, also another pro about having Windows on your Steam Deck is you can also use your uh, PC Game Pass. So that means all the games you bought on your Xbox you can play on your Steam Deck. So if there's any games that you have you know, been wanting to play, your Steam Deck is accessible for it. So for instance, right now as I speak for the video, I'm downloading um, the Cuphead's game. But I'm downloading it on the Windows here. Um, I'm also going to show you guys a real, another cool thing that you can do with your Steam Deck, which I thought was pretty interesting. Basically, if you had Windows on your Steam Deck, there is some functionalities that won't know how to work itself. Now pardon me, I do have a cold sore up my upper... Um, corner of my my mouth here my gums and it's real painful but i needed to make a video because i was so excited to review the windows products that you know i thought i'd share it with y'all but you guys can literally download uh this program software if you guys already have windows and you're just watching up uh, you know review of it you guys can literally download a certain software that basically allows you to control your fan speed, a lot of control your GPU, your CPUs. It allows you to control uh, like everything on your Steam Deck. Like for instance, that since I downloaded it, I literally can control my uh, brightness on my Steam Deck by using the Steam as a functionality button. So you can hold your Steam button and literally use your joystick to increase the brightness. And this thing gets freaking bright, let me tell you, and uh, you know decrease it. Um, so there's stuff like that, but I'm not going to cover all of that today because there's going to be so much time, but I'm just going to cover my experience with the Windows, why I like it, and why I think you guys should get Windows if you guys are really looking into this. Now people are like, oh, I hate Linux. That's already a good enough reason to get Windows. But, you know, maybe give Linux a chance because maybe you'll end up liking it. And don't take any of uh, quick actions. The only reason why I downloaded Windows on mine in the first place was because I got one for free. And if you guys didn't see that video, it's on my channel. I got a free Steam Deck. For nothing so I just used the free Steam Deck and I got downloaded Windows on it now I've had an issue with my Steam Deck Windows that I think I'll warn you guys before you even download it is the SD cards now I've had so many issues with my SD card because it wouldn't actually stay in and read it and like certain times it'll just come out and I wouldn't be able to play certain games and since this single has 64 gigabytes you literally can't do anything with it it's pretty much pointless 
like I'm, I'm just downloading Tekken 7 on my Windows Steam Deck to play with a friend, and it's 71 gigabytes for a game made in 2015. So if you think about it, 64 gigabytes won't get you anything in this world anymore. So I have a 300 gigabyte SD card for now. I'm planning on getting a terabyte for it to make it a full functioning like PC in a way with storage and everything. But if I get that, then this thing will have a whole terabyte and you pretty much can do what you want. Be like, pretty much, this thing is pretty much a handheld Xbox, honestly, but better. Better, you can do more with it. It's a handheld Xbox, but better. Um, honestly, I love it so much because it's like you're taking around a PC in your hands. Now, uh, in the future, sometime down the future, I'm going to be buying the ROG Ally and doing a review on that. And it's another really good Windows operating device. It's not Linux, so you don't have to go through all the Linux BS. So things you want to download, you can download them right away. So, covering that, I think I might actually plug my windows into the monitors to get a better view since I don't have, you know, all the modern technology to, like, screen record and stuff. Because I don't do editing or anything, like, as in work computer-wise. I just do it on my iPad and post it, so I'm pretty cheap. I'm sorry, guys. I don't like to take too much time on uh, stuff like that, but I just like to give you guys a video just so you guys know how to do certain things. And I'm also going to show you guys how to... Uh, fix your SD card if it's not reading properly in this video. So you guys just better stay tuned because it's going to get spicy. Alright guys, I am back and hope you guys are still here. I had to get some more lighting in the room because the lighting was real bad. And I readjusted and I plugged in my Steam Deck Windows Edition Steam Deck here with you guys. And we're going to be looking at the Windows and how it works on here. So number one, Windows is easy to install. I'm going to give you that. Windows took me maybe 25 minutes to install. Honestly, you have to just go on your web browser and find the Windows. Download it on um, a USB flash drive. Go ahead and plug it into your dock of your um, Steam Deck. This is not dual boot, though, so you can't have the option to go back to Steam OS and use Windows. It's either one or the other. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how to do the dual boot. So, dual boot allows you to do both, of course. So, I only did... Um, windows because i did like i said i have two of them and honestly i don't want both i don't need both on this one windows works perfectly i still can access my steam library i can still access everything i need to in steam and i can still enjoy my xbox game pass games while still having all the functionalities of regular pc now what's awesome is that this does support windows 11 so you can even have windows 11 pro if you wanted to i chose home because i'm just going the simpler out but you can even have windows 11 Pro gives you the option while you're setting it up. Now, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys a couple cool things you guys can do with your Steam Deck and Windows. Starting off with number one, you guys, like I said, you guys have the Xbox Game Pass. So that means we can play all our Xbox games on here. And I will be previewing the Cuphead's game on here today with the video just to show you guys how it works. Um, but you guys can see, you can see you can go to your Game Pass and you guys still have all your games right here. To play on your Steam Deck, it's not just limited to Steam games. You have your your uh, Xbox games, which is awesome, right? Like you can play, you know, Starfield on here. Whatever, whatever works. Also, uh, don't quote me on this, but you guys will want to make sure that your PC can handle certain things. Cause this thing, I call it a PC now because it's pretty much what it is. You want to make sure that the games you're playing is able to. Um, work well on the Steam Deck. Because you're say you're playing a game like Madden or you're playing a game like Left for Back for Blood or something like that, dude. You are going to have some issues. And I trust me, you're going to want to do some tweaking and some kinking with it. And you guys can get it running pretty smooth. You might have to turn a couple settings down. But if you guys do that, I promise you, it will work like a dream. You don't need a $1,500 PC in order to play good, good games either. And honestly, if you guys are a cheaper gamer, go with the Steam Deck. I honestly said that a while back. Go with the Steam Deck. You, you are great with the Steam Deck, and it is better than the ROG Ally. I don't have the ROG Ally, but I'm telling you guys it is better. And I'll already give you a reason why. It has trackpads. Uh, you, the other one doesn't have trackpads, so it's going to suck to, like, navigate it. But yeah, other than that, the Steam Deck Windows is a very well worth it download. Honestly, seriously, I am not even joking when I'm telling you guys that it works like a dream. Now, 
like I said, there's drawbacks. When you are downloading it, you're gonna have to download some extra things from the Steam website because like I said before, earlier in the video, some things won't know how to work on the Steam Deck. For instance, I couldn't get my, um, my speaker up here to work because the audio thing wouldn't, doesn't know how to work an audio thing. You know, the audio wouldn't know how to work itself in there and it wouldn't be able to transfer audio. So I had to download some software in order to work that. Also, you have to download software for higher resolution on your computer, which it's an AMD thing, I guess. You have to, to download that. And a couple other things, like the Bluetooth one's gonna have to be a definite download because you can't even use a Bluetooth device without downloading it. So there is some uh, there is some time gonna be spent on your day to get this thing all set up, but when it is, I promise you, you guys are gonna love it and you guys are really gonna appreciate it. It's not even like, this is like a PC, honestly, like, like just having it set up on a screen, but like when it's in your hands, guys, playing PC games, it's awesome. Now, one thing I will mention, just so you know, Xbox Game Pass was not compatible with the controller of the Steam Deck. So your actual Steam Deck won't actually play any um, Xbox games, which is very unfortunate. But there is some software from GitHub from a friend, another friendly YouTuber that I watched showed me how to download it. And that's an easy downloading process. You can, guys can go ahead and download all of these drivers I showed you how to do um, right here, if I can get my mouse down here but basically all these drivers here on the steam deck right here we got we got fan control right here this basically allows you to control the fan of your steam deck so i can literally have it like at a higher setting or a lower setting depending if i'm playing a game that really heats up the steam deck i can turn up the fans a little higher and get the steam deck cooled off at a good pace also, you have performance overlay. Now, performance overlay allows you to literally look at all what the Steam Deck is doing currently and allow you to do modifications to it. And then you literally have power control, which is overall power control of the system. So it's just overall tweaking with the system. That's what the power controls allow you to do. And then we have Steam Controller. Steam Controller is a very necessary one because Steam Controller allows you to use your controller, your Steam Deck, as a as an Xbox 360 controller or an Xbox One controller in um, in uh, uh, Xbox Game Pass. So yeah, that's definitely a necessity. If you guys are planning on playing Xbox Game Pass games on these things, you're gonna have to download that because it's pretty much useless. The only way you would be allowed to use it if if you guys bought an Xbox controller which I already have plenty of those, but if you guys had an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller, I don't even think it works with PlayStation controller, honestly. Uh, no, it doesn't. You have to have an Xbox controller, but you have to use it in order to, you know, play with it. Which kind of sucks, I guess, because, you know, you can't have everything you want at the same time, I guess. So, yeah, there is that. But like I said, it runs as a full-functioning PC. There's literally nothing uh, different about it. Everything is the same as your regular PC. And honestly, guys, it's it's relaxing to just to be able to use it as a real good PC. And now I have the Linux side of things. Really. It. But if you guys really want to get Windows, like I said, I'll figure out a way to try to put a link. I don't know how to do these things. I might YouTube that later and do it just so I know how to do it, how to post links. I, I am bad with that stuff. You guys think, well, he's downloading Windows on his freaking steam deck how come he doesn't know how to post a link in his description i'm sorry guys i don't take the time to do things and also before i continue on the video i want to thank you so much for 50 almost 50 subscribers 49 if you guys could please subscribe and give me up to 50 i would appreciate it so much honestly i'm also planning on doing a maybe like a gift card giveaway or something for fun just to you know spice up the channel or do something a little different but i might do uh uh you know like uh giveaway you guys can if you guys want you can name the card whatever in the comments down below give me an idea if you guys want an xbox gift card spotify premium whatever it is guys you just let me know and i'll and i'll pick up a card and just do it for fun just to promote the channel a little more anyways back to what we were talking about this thing works awesome like a dream so like i said i was gonna plan on doing uh looking at the uh cuphead's game on here since i was on here so let's go ahead and play and uh play the game So, like I said, the the SD card can be kind of finicky for some reason. Now I kind of kind of got a way to um, foolproof it, but it doesn't always work. So once in a while, you will have to take your SD card and put it in and out again. But luckily, that won't hurt your Steam Deck at all. Um, 
but it, it, it can be sometimes a pain in the butt to do and honestly it gets sickening after a while so I'm thinking about uh, uh, buying a, a USB flash drive to see if that would change anything because if it did that would be really helpful um, because it really the a Steam Deck especially um, it does have some finicky problems and it's not perfect but trust me it, it, it does work so we're gonna go ahead and boot up this game and play it. We got Cupheads. I love this game, and I haven't actually touched it on the PC yet. We're gonna go through my speakers up here since my speakers are playing through here. Turn it up here. Bluetooth mode. It's wired mode. mode. But it works really well. So with this, I think I have to have an Xbox controller. So I'm going to go and grab an Xbox controller, connect it, and then we're going to try Cuphead's out and see how it works. Alright, so I got the Xbox controller and now uh, we're syncing data from my other one. Alright, so we're going to start it. So I've been playing this on my Xbox lately, trying to get some bosses completed. But you can go ahead and just use it right here on your Steam Deck with the Xbox Game Pass. Also, I'm going to try doing it without this because there is uh like i said there is something you can use the uh thing you can download to use the actual steam deck as an xbox controller so we're gonna go ahead and just play this real quick on here and then we're gonna try it on the handheld just to show you guys that i am not lying to you about that um so here we are cuphead such an awesome game guys please play cupheads it's such a great game everyone loves cupheads so, yeah, like I said, it works the same as if you're playing on your Xbox. If you guys are already uh, familiar with PC gaming, this works awesome. Um, but honestly, guys, being able to play uh, Steam games and, like, Xbox Game Pass games on your device at the same time is just, like, having both sides of the cookie, which is awesome. And I really, really, really think that you guys would love to have Game Pass, honestly, on here because the games you do own on your Xbox, you can go ahead and play it on here as well. So, not all games I think are compatible because some games are only playable on PC, whereas others are only playable on Xbox. I'm not sure how it works with Xbox per se because I know that all of my games are done. Let's go ahead and try it. Let's go ahead and try this now with the handheld and to show you guys how it works. So, as you guys can see, I have Steam Deck, uh, the window keys open right now, and you can see. It is working for me. I am playing Cupheads right now on the Steam Deck with my controls through uh, the Xbox Game Pass right now. And it's actually pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty cool. Being able to do this on the Steam Deck is actually pretty nice. And it really works well. Like, there's no input lag or anything. You'd think maybe there'd be input lag, but there isn't. So, yeah, this... This works awesome, guys. Trust me. You guys would want to download this. There is... I might do a tutorial on how to do this. Maybe later down the line. But for now, guys, this is how you guys do it. And it works just so awesomely. But honestly, I'm going to wrap the video up a little earlier. Like you said, I'm going to be... Like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like these in the future. Doing um videos on the Steam Deck. And uh, just stuff that you guys can like use to help you figure out the Steam Deck more. But I'm going to try my best to do what I can to help you guys. But anyways, please subscribe. Please like it and please like the video. Please comment down below if I miss something or something you guys want to hear in the next video. I would appreciate your feedback because it really helps me out. Anyways, you'll have a blessed and wonderful day. And I hope you guys enjoy your Steam Decks.